what is up you guys and happy Monday I'm hanging out in my kitchen today I was supposed to cook Sunday dinner and I didn't I actually didn't do much Sunday except for lay around all day I've just gotten to that point where I'm exhausted and my body just needed to rest so I got up I went to the store to get the cabbage and kill bossy for the Sunday dinner that I was preparing and by the time I came back home and put all the groceries away and made myself breakfast I was so full from breakfast that I didn't make the dinner but I decided I'll go ahead and make the dinner today because I had already taken the chicken out and I didn't want more meat to go in the trash because I've literally been calling myself about to cook dinner and I end up putting the meat in the refrigerator and then I throw it away after a couple of days of it being in the refrigerator because I don't believe that's a good thing to eat chicken after a couple of days after it's been just sitting in the refrigerator even though I know it's in a cold place. I just don't want to take no chances. And so I had took chicken wings out yesterday. I said I'm not going to throw these wings away. I'm just going to go ahead, season them up, and throw them in the oven and just cook everything else that I had decided to make. So that's what I'm doing. I've already started prepping stuff and I actually have the chicken in the oven right now and the cabbage and now I am boiling the macaroni and then the last thing that I have to do is just make the cornbread the thing is I'm not hungry though I had a waffle for breakfast and I'm still good I'm not hungry I don't want to eat but I'm glad that I am cooking now because I'll have something to eat tomorrow so y'all can hang out with me in the kitchen because that's pretty much all I'm doing today is just getting this dinner done <laughs> alrighty you guys I'm almost done cooking I done went and plopped my behind on the bed and almost fell asleep and I got the oven on stuff in the oven I gotta keep it moving y'all because this is just what I'm talking about but I'm getting ready to make some macaroni and cheese right now and I'm gonna see if I can do half the portion and see what that look like hopefully it come out like the regular portion size I always make but if it doesn't oh well it's just me but if it does come out right I'll end up giving my mom probably half of it when she comes over on Wednesday because I honestly believe that I will probably be throwing most of this away.
up you guys the food is all done i'm getting ready to go in the bathroom prep my hair because i'm getting ready to put some box braids in my hair i am so over doing my hair and i'll think of something else to do after that so i will show y'all what dinner is looking like and i'm still not hungry <laughs> that's why i'm going in the bathroom now to go work on my hair but yep i put a little barbecue sauce on the chicken wings and then there's the macaroni and cheese. I wish I had company right about now so somebody could fix a plate. I'm so sleepy. I don't want nothing to eat because I don't want to go to sleep with that on my stomach. I'm going to go ahead and get to working on this head. And then I'll probably finish in the morning and then show you guys what my hair looks like tomorrow. Oh, guys, I'm all done braiding up my hair. Now it's time for me to... Ooh, without pain pull it up into a ponytail and put it into a little bun alrighty you guys so I didn't get a chance to show y'all my finished look after I put my hair up in a ponytail but yeah this is what my hair is looking like you guys I'm gonna be like this for at least two weeks cause that was the whole purpose of me doing my hair in this type of style is so I don't have to do anything with my hair so that's one less thing I gotta worry about on to other things so today has been a very very busy day for me I'm not kidding for an off day for me not to be doing any YouTube anything this was a busy day I had to go and pick up Girl Scout cookies from my friend because I had ordered from her daughter I love to support the kids no matter what they're doing even if I'm not gonna eat the cookies um, I'm gonna give them away in which I already gave my tax prepare two boxes of cookies and I still have three to get rid of but anyhow I had to do tax stuff today in which this has been like for me an ongoing eight month process I got audited I believe in 2020 at the top of 2020 they sent me a letter stating that they had audited me and that I had owed them thousands of dollars from 2015 and I'm like hold on I've never owed anybody on my taxes this type of money that y'all saying that I owe y'all what they wanted me to send them at the time was a copy of my income taxes and so I sent them because what they first off did was they said based off of 2015 they gave me a number of what they thought I had made back in 2015 now mind you in 2015 I had lost my job and I didn't even work a full year so for you guys to say that I owe you this type of money it's crazy so I had to find my taxes and in the midst of me trying to find them I had to call my tax preparer and ask him if he could just print those copies out for me so that I could send them to them. I sent them the copies they must have got lost because they don't have no record of this so then they end up sending me another letter when when they're sending you these letters they're basically either getting ready to garnish you or they're wanting to make some type of payment arrangement with you now you can't touch my money so i'm definitely going to make a payment arrangement but at the same time i'm not agreeing to what you're saying that i owe you so we're going to need to do some further investigation so the further investigation was them was me sending them the proof of my taxes that i did not owe them this money moving forward just last week they sent me a certified letter in the mail Stating that I owe them $6,412.72 is what they said that I owe them. So my tax preparer said, come on over because this don't make no sense. I'm going to speak on your behalf. Went over there. He spoke on my behalf. The guy said that they did get the $140 that I owed them. And I said, well, if you got the $140 that I owed you, then you should have also gotten my copy of my taxes because I sent them when I sent the payment to you guys. He could not find them. So he basically said, if you can get us a copy, he said, what we'll do is within four to six weeks, he said, all of this will be updated. And the only thing that you'll have is just the penalty for not submitting your payment on time by the deadline, which the, the penalty is $500 which listen I, I can work with some $500 now I can, I can work with that but $6,412 assist can't work with that okay I was willing to just throw in the towel I'm not kidding because 
I'm just over it. Like, how do you beat the government unless you got a good bomb lawyer or money behind all of that? Which, I'm working just like everybody else to pay my bills. I don't have $6,000 just laying around to just give y'all based off of what you're estimating that I owe for 2015 when I y'all the proof. I sent it. And, and twice I sent it as a matter of speaking. Because I sent it when they first asked me for it. When this first started, and then back in December, when I sent the payment, I also sent them the copy of my taxes. But y'all, I am so grateful that I have a professional tax, especially when I started earning revenue as an entrepreneur. You definitely need one so they can file your taxes properly for you instead of you going on TurboTax to do it yourself and then end up, you know, getting into some trouble. I am so glad. This is probably one of the best things that I could have ever done for myself because I tell you, I was ready to set up some payment arrangements today. I really was because I'm like, I'm tired of fighting this. This has been like eight months of my life draining for me. Every time I see the certified letter, it irritates my life and it upsets me because I know for a fact that I don't owe nobody that type of money. I just don't. And for me to keep sending y'all the proof that, look, this is what I had owed y'all. And you're still saying that I owe you over $6,000? Child, please. I was about to set up a payment arrangement, y'all, for $100 a month. I'm not lying. Because I just, right now, I'm trying to get all my finances together to where I'm living real comfortable. Right now, I'm, I'm living comfortable. I just don't want nothing to, to mess that up for me. You know what I'm saying? But all of this is now taken care of. I got the letter in the mail. They got all the information. My tax preparer put everything in the envelope that they needed to have. I signed off on it and it is in the mailbox y'all. Okay. Oh, four to six weeks. I will call them and make sure that they updated their records. Like they said, and they no notated it today that I did call so that they don't do next step of garnishment. Because I think if you don't follow up within the time frame that they give you, then they take the next step to garnish your wages. And like I said, ain't nobody garnishing nothing over here. Okay. But anyhow, y'all, that's all done. But hey, I never did get a chance to show y'all. So on another brighter note, my house after they finish it i didn't put all the stuff back though y'all good job on my dang old house and i've never had the back the back part of my house power wash when i was power washing it myself i only power washed like the front side of the house and this side because this was horrible this house is 20 years old and this is the first time the whole entire house been clean it looks brand new i don't know if y'all can see that or not because of the sun i'll just show y'all the, the side this was the worst this was the worst side of the house this right here but y'all this is my house and i mean off off the streets it look good huh no i don't got no wind damage did my patio and my steps i didn't even know my steps was this light lord today but this is the patio and, and then i just need to put all of this stuff back and go to lowe's and see if i can find myself some new furniture to put back here because I'm gonna be sitting back here uh this summer because I don't think I'm gonna be going nowhere but yeah anyhow you guys I'm gonna be done with this video and I will see y'all on another boring quarantine video real soon love you guys